This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you, and today we're going to talk about Stone Mountain Drip Tips, but I'm not going to vape on it. I'm not going to put this shit to my lips. It may look like a beautiful tip. It may be a beautiful tip, in fact. The lifetime guarantee on it is this uh, acrylic sort of material that's used. It is piss poor quality, though, because that's not supposed to happen. For $45, that shit should never happen. And don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful tip, but you should never buy from this company. I'm going to tell you why. I bought this tip back in 2014. It broke like that long before now. I mean, I've just kind of held on to it, just waiting for this day. Before that thing broke, I liked the tip. I thought it was pretty enough. And my brother-in-law has a taste for really nice, well-made tips too, as do I. I have a taste for high-end drip tips, handmade drip tips. I love them. I love that you, know, you can accessorize your devices with something like this and bring out something just completely personal, completely aesthetic and beautiful and different and customize your vape to your liking. And I have a bunch of them. I have a lot of high-end drip tips. You know, some of them range in price from $20 on up to $50. $60 was the most I ever paid for a tip and it was worth every penny because some of these tips are absolutely beautiful. This one went for about 45 bucks or so. But when I pay $45 for a drip tip, $92.86 for two drip tips, I expect to receive them. November 15th of 2014, I put in an order for two more Bully Box Mod Bully tips. Okay, one for me, one for my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is just gonna be a Christmas gift, okay? November 26th, that year, 2014, I sent him an email just trying to get an idea of when it might ship. The man does not reply until February. February. Letting me know that it might take as much as three months for the order to complete. The material is backordered. Blah, 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 blah. Apologies, apologies. Okay. December, January. Three months. Three months in February after I placed my initial order with him. March 13th, I started to get a little pissed off. I started sending him an email demanding a refund that I paid him $100 back in November, $92.86 actually, but $100 back in November. I want my money back or my products that I paid for. Services rendered, goods delivered, demanding that it be fulfilled. I didn't get a response very quick and I started to write nasty messages on his Facebook. I'm guilty of that and he removed them. And then later wrote back that he's still trying to get it out to me as soon as possible. He's not screwing me over. He's a good guy, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, and that there's no need to try and slander his business that he's bled for. Okay. May 25th. This is more than six months after placing my initial order back in November of 2014. The man closes his down his website. The website is gone. It's got a big sign up that Bully Box Mods is no more. La 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 la. Apologies, apologies. So, I don't get my refund, I don't get my drip tips, I don't get shit. I wrote him on May 25th appealing to him. I still haven't gotten the drip tips, he reassured me and reassured me that you'd send them, blah 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 blah, explaining that, you know, $100 may not seem like much to him, but it's a lot to me and my wife, we work for a living, he might bleed for his business, I bled for that $100. No response. I remember it was that year that Dottie, you know, my dog, she started to get really sick back then. That's when we started paying a lot of medical bills for her. That's when things started to go really downhill really quick. I remember that that year was particularly hard on our wallets. I remember that some financial constraints around that time. A hundred dollars was a lot of money back then. It was a stretch for me to order that trip tip for myself. It was a stretch for me to order one for my brother-in-law. I was beyond my means, okay? $100 is still a lot for me and my wife. My wife works for the state. I work in a call center. I make more money than my wife does. We're not wealthy people. YouTube doesn't pay the bills. 
But beyond that, it's the principle of the thing. It's that I paid money for goods to be delivered, for services to be rendered, and that money was taken from me without my permission and with nothing gained on my end. Essentially, this man stole from me, and not just from me. Later on, I found out that there were many other people that had the same thing happen to them. Turns out that the man behind Bully Box Mod's drip tips had some sort of medical condition and had to leave the industry for a time. That's why he closed up shop without refunding anyone's money. That's why he closed up shop without sending you anyone's drip tips out. If you're going to need help financing a recovery from some medical condition or whatnot, the proper way to go about it is to ask first. Don't take my money and then use that for whatever you need it for. Don't refund it. Don't send me the goods that were promised to me that I bought with my hard-earned money. Don't... I need a minute. See, I remember my wife around that time coming to me with sad eyes and saying, honey, what do you think ever happened to those drip tips we ordered? And every time I would just say, you know, I bet they're on the way. I bet that, you know, they're coming. I bet that, you know, I mean, we've never been screwed over by anyone in the vape industry before. I know people that have. It's always like, it's, it just can't happen to you, you know, but it can happen to anyone is the thing. And this was a reputable company. It seemed to be a company that had a customer service mindset, a lifetime warranty that put a lot of effort into their tips. And they may be, but you know what? Bottom line is they stole from me and they stole from other people. And that may be because they were in some sort of financial disarray. It could be because they had some sort of medical condition. You know what? That's not the way to go about it. You want support from the community, you ask. You start a crowdfunder. You dip into your savings. You do something other than taking money from people without asking first. Chances are, if he had asked me, if he had apologized and said, you know what, Josh, I'm sick. I need the money so that I can pay my medical bills. I probably wouldn't have been okay with it, but I bet you my sweet wife would have. Bet you she would have said, you know what, Josh, he's not doing so well, I bet that once he's better, he'll probably make good on his promises, but it's not. See, this guy came back into the business not too long ago, and now he's under the name of Stone Mountain Drip Tips, a whole new company with a new name. Same logos, same style drip tips, same artwork, new name. Is he hiding? I don't know. I wonder, though. I do. So I wrote him today because I found out about his new company. I, I was livid. You have to understand, I've been angry with this man and his company for going on almost two years now. Every time I think about him, my throat closes up, my face turns red, my fists clench up, and I want to break things. This man stole from me. Stole from me and my wife and lots of his other customers and he wants to come back to the community and start selling drip tips again. And not only is he coming back into the business, is he's giving away a bunch of tips on his sites and he's giving away tips to potential people who will help him market his new company under this new name. I only found out because I happened to open up my old email account, take a look around in there and see that he was back in business with a new company, with a new name, giving away drip tips before he's even made mine. I said, are you kidding me? Still haven't received our orders from you. Been since November of last year when you had your old company. That is insane. You should be ashamed. And then I wanted him to understand just how serious this was. So I floated my YouTube channel at him just a little bit. I said, I mean, I should put you fuckers on blast. I have 16,000 subs on my YouTube channel, 5,000 friends on each Facebook and Instagram, and people should know how you do business, is what I said to him. That's what I'm doing. His response was about three hours ago, and I've written him back twice since then. He said, good morning to you, sir. 
I need you to please send me the order numbers. We are trying to make things right with our old customers. Show me what you ordered, shoot me an email. We here at Stone Mountain want to fulfill orders that may have gotten lost in the shuffle. Again, send your order over as we're unable to locate by your name. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing though. You left the industry. You took my money. You didn't write down the order. So if I hadn't have seen this, that you were back in business and giving away free drip dips and you had a whole new company name and all that, how would you have known to make it right with me? How would you have made it right? How are you going to make it right with all the other people who didn't get their orders? Because I'm damn sure that I'm not the only one that didn't receive the order from you. That's why I'm making this video, Brett. That's why I'm doing this. See, the truth is, Brett, that even if you gave me what I asked for and you gave me my money back, which is all that I want from you right now, as I said in this, this most recent email that I sent you because I found this whole chain of messages and all this nonsense. And that's the one I've most recently sent to you. And that was sent about, about an hour and a half ago. And I haven't given you a fair chance to reply. And that's true, I haven't. I'm sorry for that, Brett. But you know what the truth is? Even if you gave me my money back, which is what I asked for, I'd still make this video. I would. Just so that the people that you stole from can find this video. In six months from now, when a little light bulb goes off in their head and they hear talk about this new company called Stone Mountain Drip Tips and they realize, huh, that kind of looks familiar. I wonder, I wonder what that's about. When they, that little light bulb goes off in their head and they realize that you're the same company that stole from them back in 2014, I want them to be able to find this video. I want them to be able to know that you're back in business as Stone Mountain Drip Tips and that they should contact you. I'm doing this as a public service, Brett, okay? That's what it's for. So the people like me that you stole from can work to get something back from you. Because I wrote you, Brett, like I said, I just want my money back. I remember reading you left the business due to some sort of medical concerns. Glad to see you made a recovery and that my $92.86 loan may have helped finance the recovery in some way. Sure does make me feel warm and gooey inside. Hmm. But at this point, the damage is done. I've been angry at you and your company going on almost two years now. The way I see it, you stole from me and a heck of a lot of your other customers. And apparently you didn't have the decency to keep, even keep track of the orders you had to yet to fulfill. If I hadn't seen your emails offering free drip tips and launching your new business, I would never have even known you were coming back. That means that however many other people are still without their orders fulfilled by you and their money's not returned. I'm just as angry now as I was writing you all these previous messages two years ago. I want nothing to do with you and your company other than to get my money back and cut ties from you. People like you, Brett, give the industry a bad name. And I feel that to my very core, Brett. I feel like, you know what? At this point, Brett, you can keep my $92.86. You can just keep it. Consider it a welcome back to the community gift, Brett. Welcome back, buddy. We missed you. You disgust me, Brett. You know what my wife says you should do, Brett? Here's what my wife says you should do. My wife says that you should fulfill all the orders that you lost in the shuffle and refund all the monies as well. That's what my wife thinks you should do. But Brett, be honest with you, even if you did all that, even if I got my two drip tips and my $92.86 back from you, I'd still make this video, buddy. I really would, because there's just no fucking excuse. Even if you took the money, even if you needed the money for recovery, a medical recovery of some kind, see you were on your motherfucking deathbed, Brett. Say you were on your deathbed, your last act on this earth would have been to steal from the very community you built your business upon. Am I cold and heartless? Maybe. Maybe I'm a little bit cold. I'm a New Yorker. It's my nature. My wife is a Southern. She's a little bit more forgiving. Me, the way I see it, you stole from me. You flat out stole from me and I have no forgiveness for you, buddy. I don't even use this strip tip, Brett it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I hope that this industry turns their backs to you. You should have stayed gone, Brad. I've been waiting for you to come back. I've been waiting. Vapors, y'all vape on.